Florida State Facts for Kids Florida is a peninsula, that means it's almost completely surrounded by water. Its northernmost edge is connected to Alabama in the northwest and Georgia in the northeast. Off Florida's west coast is the Gulf of Mexico. Off the east coast is the Atlantic Ocean. Off the south coast are the Straits of Florida. The northern, upland, part of the state is hilly, but you'll find caves and sinkholes in the northwestern Mariana lowlands. The coastal plains contain sandy beaches, islands, and coral reefs. In the south, you can take an airboat through the famous Everglades National Park, swampy, wildlife-filled marshland that covers 1.5 million acres. Off the southernmost tip of the state are the Florida Keys, a group of about 1,700 tiny islands called an archipelago. Want to island hop? No problem. A causeway and 42 bridges connect the various keys. But let's get into the history of the state first. More than 12,000 years ago, the first people began to inhabit what is now Florida. For nourishment, they engaged in small game hunting and foraging for plants. The Timucua, Apalachee, Calusa, and Creek are just a few of the Native American tribes who have inhabited the region over the years. Spanish Conquistador, that's Spanish for, Conqueror. Ponce de Leon sailed to Florida in 1513 searching for gold and silver. He didn't find it, but he did discover fertile farmland and lots of coastline, excellent for shipping. No wonder Great Britain, France, and Spain all tried to establish settlements in Florida. Florida's original Spanish name is La Florida, which means, place of flowers. Some historians think Ponce de Leon chose the name to honor the blooming flowers he saw there, or in tribute to Spain's Easter celebration called Pascua Florida, or, Feast of Flowers. In 1763, the British took control of Florida from Spain in exchange for the land that is now Havana, Cuba. But just two decades later, as part of the peace treaty that ended the Revolutionary War, Spain took charge again. That didn't last long, new U.S. settlers began flooding in, and in 1821, Spain gave up Florida to the United States in exchange for Spanish rule over Texas. Today Native American tribes called Seminoles and Miccosukee still live in Florida. The people come from a combination of tribes who migrated to the area in the 1700s to avoid conflict with the Europeans and with other tribes. Florida currently has the second fewest natives residents of any state of the U.S., Florida officially became the 27th state in 1845 under President John Tyler. The state's capital was established in Tallahassee which is located in the state's Panhandle area. It adopted the nickname of, the Sunshine State, in 1970. Florida uses the abbreviation, F, and, L. The Florida flag is white and a red cross with the Florida seal in the center. There is some disagreement on the meaning of the red cross. Some believe that the Red Cross depicts the cross on which St. Andrew was crucified, while others believe that it is based upon the saltire on the Confederate battle flag. However, the images on the state seal in the center of the flag are much easier to understand. The seal shows a Native American woman scattering flowers while looking out across the water. On the water is a steamboat while in the distance is a sable palm tree with sunbeams on the horizon. The entire scene is encircled by the words, Great Seal of the State of Florida. In God We Trust, with the second half being the state motto. Among the most important industry sectors of Florida are tourism as well as aerospace and aviation and agriculture. Many believe that Ponce de Leon was the first to plant orange seeds in Florida. Three centuries later, newly built railroads allowed growers to ship oranges across the United States. Today the state provides oranges for most of the orange juice sold in the country. The limestone rocks in Florida contain many minerals including phosphate and potash. Phosphate and potash are mainly used in fertilizers and animal feed. Florida is the largest phosphate producer in the USA. Sugar cane, beef, seafood, citrus fruits and petroleum are also top natural resources from Florida. Florida can make an excellent vacation spot, thanks to its 663 miles of beaches. Florida has the second longest coastline of any U.S. state with 8,436 miles. And, of course, Disney World. The 40-square-mile park in the city of Orlando has more than 60,000 employees and welcomes more than 62,000 visitors every day. The state can even take you out of this world, literally. You can see an actual rocket launch from Cape Canaveral, where rockets have been taking off since 1950. 
Florida is the third most populous state of the United States of America with 21.78 million as of 2021, but is only about one-fifth of the size of Texas or three times smaller than California. The highest point of Florida is Britton Hill with 105 meters 345 feet. This is the lowest of all highest points of all the U.S. states and Florida is the flattest of all U.S. states. About 22 million people live in Florida. The majority of the people in Florida live along the Atlantic coastline as well as along the coast of the Gulf of Mexico. Jacksonville is Florida's largest city and the most populous city of the state. The city has about 1 million inhabitants. By land area, Jacksonville is also the largest city in the contiguous USA. Miami in the south of the state is the largest metropolitan area and houses about 6.2 million residents. But everything in the Florida is not all sun and fun. The state is also affected every year by strong winds and hurricanes that develop over warm ocean waters. Hurricane season in Florida lasts about six months from the 1st of June to the 30th of November. Florida has also scored first place in lightning density among all 50 U.S. states, with 285 lightning events per square mile making it the lightning capital of the U.S. Another infamous title Florida holds is for New Smyrna Beach, which is known as the shark bite capital of the world. This beach lies just south of Daytona on Florida's eastern coast. The official state animal of Florida is the Florida panther. The Florida panther is a North American cougar population in South Florida. It lives in pinelands, tropical hardwood hammocks, and mixed freshwater swamp forests. The state bird is the American flamingo. The American flamingo is one of the largest species of flamingo. An average adult is 5 feet, 1.5 meters, tall and weighs 4 to 8 pounds, 1.8 to 3.6 kilograms. The orange blossom is the official state flower. The orange blossom is the fragrant flower of the citrus sinensis. It is used in perfume making and has been written about as an aphrodisiac. It is traditionally associated with good fortune and joy, and has been popular in bridal bouquets and head wreaths for weddings. The state freshwater fish is the largemouth bass. Florida strain largemouth bass grow faster than their northern counterparts. Florida strain largemouth bass generally reach a weight of about 10 pounds in 8 years. A northern strain largemouth, in contrast, would generally weigh about 5 pounds at the same age. The state saltwater fish is the sailfish. Sailfish are a type of billfish that are known not only for their pointed bills, but also their extraordinary dorsal fins that can be taller than the length of their bodies. They can grow up to 10 feet long and weigh 220 pounds. Sailfish are considered the fastest fish in the ocean, reaching top speeds of 70 miles per hour. I hope you enjoy our videos. If so, please hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel.